Hey, what is up? Welcome into the 5 to 9 Hustle. My name is Eric, and I'm a part-time reseller, mostly of pre-owned men's clothing on eBay as my primary platform. And today, I've got a quick tip for eBay sellers, especially newer sellers that are concerned about feedback, okay? Um, there are a couple of well-established ways to build feedback. I'm going to talk about the way I did it. I have a method that is simple. It is free, it does not take a lot of time, and it seems to work. And, you know, overall I'd say it's pretty smart. Then we can look at how that compares to some other methods, but first, let me just get right into what I did when I was trying to build up my feedback, because I really wanted to break a thousand uh, at one point. But um, So what I do and what you can do is going to start at Seller Hub, which I get to by clicking on my eBay. And then we need to go to our orders area or page or tab, whatever you want to call it. Click on the orders tab and then go paid and ship on the left hand side where you can hover over orders and choose paid and shipped from the drop down menu. So once you get there, you know, above each order, above the item is showing you what day you shipped it unless it's been delivered. Then it tells you what day it's been delivered. So my very simple technique when trying to build feedback is I would just go in each day and look at what has been delivered that day. I'd do this in the evening. And then select all those. And then up at the top, there's a button that says leave feedback. And you can leave feedback for multiple items at the same time by using the stored comments. Um, and so that's it. I would leave feedback for people the day their item was delivered, like that evening. If I didn't get to it every day, I might do it the next morning, but the day that the item's delivered or the next day, I would leave them feedback. So they would get notification or an email letting them know I'd left positive feedback. And they're like, oh yeah, I just got that. Yeah, he did get it here pretty fast. You know, just try to trigger in their mind that they should uh, recipro reciprocate the feedback. You know, I didn't directly ask for it. I just tried to time mine to where it would spur them to do it. And it seemed to work. Um, I was looking at my last like two months and right now not doing anything at all to try to get feedback. I get feedback roughly one out of every five transactions. Back when I was building feedback and using this method of leaving them feedback the day they got their item, I was getting feedback anywhere from 35 to 40 percent of the time, right? So maybe say one out of three transactions to two out of five transactions, 30 to 40% of the time. Uh, so it doesn't sound like that big of a, of a boost, but if you're selling 150 items a month on eBay, um, getting 45 or 50 feedback is a lot better than getting 20, right? Um, so that's how I did it. There are a lot of other ways to do it. Um, some of them I think are awkward or time consuming. Like one thing is, you can message everybody. Say, hey, I hope you like your item. I shipped it today. Please leave me positive feedback. Or maybe you message them after they receive it. Hey, I saw you got your item. I hope everything worked out. Any problems, let me know. If not, please leave positive feedback. Uh, some people don't like that. They don't like to be asked for feedback. That might work. My main thing with that is I just felt it was time consuming to send all the messages. Another great one is to use a handwritten or pre-printed thank you card of some kind, um, soliciting feedback and also letting people know, hey, I'm just a small seller. I'm not a big corporation. If there's anything wrong, let me know. I'll make it right. If not, please leave feedback. The thing that's interesting about feedback, it's definitely important on, on eBay. Um, it's more important when you're a newer seller though, right? You wanna build up the numbers so you don't have just like a seven after your name, right? Uh, oh, is, is the, you know, it's not a trusted seller. They don't sell a lot, whatever. Um, so you want the volume of feedback, but also the quality. But it's sort of like the more feedback you get, the less important it is. And then what becomes more important is the, the patterns in the feedback. Uh, if you're selling a high volume, at some point, someone's not going to be happy with uh with what you sent them and it might you might make a mistake or it might just be an unhappy person that you know likes to make other people's lives miserable who knows uh, but most buyers will accept that you can't make everyone happy 
So if you do get a negative feedback here or there, every so often, people will allow for that. But you're still over 99% positive, that people will allow for that. They can tell from the pattern that you're a good seller. If you're getting negative feedback on a regular basis, once a month, twice a month, um, then that's going to set up red flags and, and prevent. All right, so that is my quick tip today. If you found this video to be useful at all, do me a favor and please hit the like button.